Welcome back everyone. We are not afraid to die if we can all be together. By Gordon Cook and Alan East. Part 4. So let us begin this explanation. First of all the word meanings. Sextant means an instrument with graduated arc of 60 degrees for taking altitudes and navigation and caricatures means picture of a person or a cartoon. So let us begin explanation. The ship made it through the storm and by the morning of January 6. The ship made it through the storm means they were successful by the morning of January 6 and the narrator tried to get a reading on the sex stand. He worked with wind speeds, drift and current and calculated their position. They were in 1,50,000 kilometers area of ocean looking for a 65 kilometer wide island. While the narrator was still thinking, his daughter Sue joined him and she was in pain. The left side of her head was swollen and her blackened eyes had narrowed down to slits. She gave him a card which she had made herself. On the front of the card was a cartoon image of her parents with words written about them being funny people and how they made her laugh. On the inside of the card she told them how she loved them both and she thanked them. This made the narrator realize that they had to make it to the island. Next paragraph the narrator rejected his calculations. Uh, wait a minute, let me explain the word meanings first. Yes, tussled head is disarranged hair of the narrator's son, Jonathan. And bunk means bed and dodged off means went off to sleep. So let's have the explanation part. So the narrator rechecked his calculations and they lost their main compass and were using the spare one which was not corrected by magnetic variations. So the narrator estimated the influence of the westerly currents which flow through the Indian Ocean and around 2 p.m. he went on deck and asked Larry to steer the wheel to 185 degrees. He felt if they were lucky they would see the island by 5 p.m. Then he went below and slept. He slept to take a rest. He woke up around 6 p.m. and it was dark outside. He thought that they might have missed the island. He started worrying about how they would tackle the westerly wind more as the ship was not capable to sail more. His son came and asked him for a hug and his daughter also followed the same. Next paragraph B L E A K bleak bleak means an area of land lacking vegetation and stark stark means sharply defined. So let us begin. So he asked Miss the narrator asked, why was he getting a hug? His son replied that he was the best daddy in the world and also called him the best captain. 
The narrator replied that he was afraid. Su told him then that they had found the island which was as big as a battleship. The narrator rushed to the deck and gave a sigh of relief. They could see the complete outline of Isle Amsterdam. There was a bleak piece of volcanic rock in front of them. It had a little vegetation. It was the most beautiful island in the world. The most beautiful island in the world here it is said because at that time for them land was very important. They were going to sink and instead that they have got land so that land with that little vegetation was also looking very beautiful to them next paragraph the hard words are anchored means moor a ship to the sea bottom offshore means situated at the sea some distance from the shore Assure means on the shore of the land and optimistic means hopeful and confident. So let us begin the explanation. So they moved the ship at some distance from the shore and at the next morning 28 inhabitants of the Amsterdam island they came forward to help us to move on the shore of the land. As he felt the land again on his feet, he thought of his crewmen and his wife. He also thought of his seven-year-old daughter who was injured badly. She had to go through six minor operations to remove the blood clot in her head. His son, who never gave up, who never gave up and was not afraid to die. This all thing he recalled at this moment. His son said, that what the son said yes the name of the story the title of the story we are not afraid to die if we can all be together one of the lines of this paragraph are very impo important just like the third one my thoughts were full of larry and herbie so here full of larry and herbie means the two people working with them on the ship cheerful and optimistic under the direst stress and of mary mary's name of his wife who stayed at the whole wheel for all those crucial hours so in this way he was thinking about all those who helped him who supported him and because of them only he was able to complete his journey to that island even in that critical situation when they were supposed to die but because of their continuous effort and the courage given by his own son and daughter that has all made him successful though they were still not able to complete their journey but at least they have got shelter and there was a chance to complete now so i hope you have understood the chapter in next video i will share the question answers okay till then a big thank you thank you for patient watching all all my best wishes for you thank you once again